Earthquakes are one of the most deadly natural disasters in the world and have happened all over the world for as long as time. The question is, what actually defines an earthquake? An earthquake is moving of tectonic plates under the Earth's crust, making the surface of the Earth shake. They are caused because plates are always slowly moving and due to friction they get stuck. When the stress on the edge overcomes the friction, it releases energy in waves that travel through the Earth's crust and cause the shaking that we feel, called an earthquake. Now that you know what earthquakes are and how they are caused, let's look at one of the world's largest earthquakes, the Sumatra Andaman Island earthquake at the Indian Ocean on the 26th of December 2004 7.58 a.m. and 53 seconds was the exact time that it hit. This earthquake is listed as the third largest earthquake ever recorded, hitting magnitude 9.1 and killing approximately 227,898 people and affecting the whole Indian Ocean coastline, over 14 countries. Most earthquakes with magnitude 5 to 6 only last about 30 seconds but this one was so powerful that it lasted between 8 to 10 minutes, the longest ever recorded faulting. It was so powerful that in just 20 minutes of the earthquake, the first several 100 foot waves hit the shoreline, turning the city into rubble. The earthquake was caused by a rupture along the fault of the Burma Plate and the Indian Plate. The earthquake and tsunami heavily affected the economy in countries such as India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Maldives, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Seychelles, Thailand, and Somalia. The two main occupations affected were fishing and tourism. By looking at this video, you can see where areas were affected by the blast and where the waves hit. This video is pure evidence that this was one of the most deadly natural disasters ever. This here is footage from the actual earthquake and tsunami. First thing to notice here is that the water has gone out very, very far. All of the boats are just on the sand. If you see this happen, this means there is a big tsunami coming. This was the cause from the earthquake. Once the water has gone out, it will soon start to come back in, but this time it'll come back in really, really fast and very, very tall, meaning it's a tsunami. If you were standing there, you could easily get knocked over by the power of the water. You can start to see the panic in people once it comes onto the land, destroying everything in its path. Just imagine if you were here and you had just heard about a big earthquake out in the ocean and now you are starting to see gigantic waves come in to the beach. Here you can even see the water go straight over a car, showing how powerful it really is. When more waves come, you can even see the car move. People that were in the water had almost no time to move as the tsunami came really fast. You can also see the flooding start to happen as the first few waves come in. The wave came through anything in its path. 
You can even see it here, coming into a hotel. No one or nothing is safe in the water, and the only way that people are safe is if they had high ground. As time goes on, not that short after the waves come in, the debris starts to build up and heads in the middle of the city. People hang on for their life, on anything they can find, trying not to be hit by the debris. People try and help, but there's nothing they can do. If they were to help someone, they could risk losing their lives or injuring themselves badly. People have to run. Things are coming for them, but there's not enough time. The whole community is affected from this. You can see that people are doing anything to escape as they are climbing over things. Once again, people are surrounded by water, nowhere to escape. Even cars are dragged down the road by the force of the water, carrying all of the debris as well. To make matters even worse, this was a day after Christmas, meaning there were so many tourists here, making the chance of death and injuries even higher. Sadly, people stuck in the debris don't have a very high chance of survival, as the debris can knock them over, drowning them, or even keeping them underwater. People that have lived in the community for a very long time said that this is very rare and has never happened before, as people hang on to palm trees to stay alive. If you were here, you would really be scared. This person says half of the island has been destroyed in three minutes. All the boats are coming into the land. Even if you are an amazing swimmer, it would be hard for you to stay alive as the water is way stronger than you. People are hugging their loved ones, hoping to stay alive. All of the debris has built up so much that it doesn't even look like water anymore, and just a river of debris. Could you imagine the shock inside of you once this has happened? Everything is destroyed. People's homes, people's houses, people's belongings. All they have left is themselves. Their family members might not even be there anymore. All of this just looks like it is straight out of a horror movie. The damage had already been done and there was no turning back. Everything was destroyed. There was nothing left and the damage was estimated to be 12 and a half billion Australian dollars. All of this just shows how nature can be so destructive and can take control of anything in the world. The tsunami took a terrible toll on young lives, killing over a third of children under the age of seven in heavily damaged communities. The toll after the tsunami and earthquake was enormous, and it changed people's lives from lost homes and even to the salt water damaging the landscape, changing the soil and physical infrastructure was destroyed. There is still lots of damage, and efforts to rebuild damaged areas have absorbed people's money and time from individuals all over the world. 
Even though this event was amazing and is one of a kind, it is becoming a lot more common over the past few years, and we are very lucky to live in an area that doesn't have many earthquakes at all.